Mark, another top run by Perita Fu to run that uh, group one placing last weekend. Yeah, he's a good old fella. He keeps fronting up season after season. And, you know, he's some sort of chance Saturday now that uh, the good mare's going to Australia. Just about what he's done here, just a, just a sort of a nice little trot up, was it, just considering the horses uh, get raced on Saturday? Yeah, no, he's just had canned one round of the sand this morning, so, you know, he's, he's fitting well. And the one thing we tried to avoid this season was a lot of travelling with him, so he's going into the liver mole still relatively fresh. Uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be a vintage field, so he's some sort of chance. John, we're here with uh, Helena Baby. Everything tracking nicely leading into the Group 1 on the weekend? Yeah, we are. Uh, Brendan, very happy with him. He's uh, done everything right. Uh, he had his fast work last Saturday, which was pleasing. He'll have a, a little bit of a breeze up tomorrow on the grass off the straight, and uh, we're all ready to uh, go down and visit uh, the Hawks Bay. Well, things that seem to be tracking well in terms of the track condition too, John, you, you've got yourself a, a track condition that he's going to enjoy, just like that carrot. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. He loves his carrots. Um, well, if it rains, uh, I'd be even more happy. But I think that the track down there, uh, I don't think it'll worry us as long as it's not holding. The last time he was down there was holding, and it tripped up a lot of horses, in fact, that track uh, um, uh, the first day. So, uh, yeah, if, as long as it's not holding, uh, we'll be uh, we're happy enough. Another one? What about the extra distance? I, I know that's something you've spoken about, that you, you, you're looking forward to pushing him out to that 2,000 metres. I am. Uh, the most exciting guy, well, is me, but is uh, Donovan Mansell. He's uh, he said for so long now that and he knows the horse back to front and uh, they get him over 2,000 and uh, he, uh, he said you'll see uh, that uh, well it, it is true though, no matter what you draw there Eddie you can just head straight for the corner and you can be wherever place yourself hopefully wherever you uh, wherever you wish uh, at Hastings so uh, um, yeah we uh, it's quite exciting actually yeah. Well, first of all, talk about Vern and me. Uh, bounce out of the Group 1 uh, nicely from last weekend. Yeah, I thought it was a terrific run. Uh, he obviously met some good stiff competition. Uh, he'll be well suited for the 2000. And uh, looks like a bit of rain around, but that shouldn't worry him too much. Yeah, and getting to that more distance where we've seen him perform at last season at, at that elite level. Yeah, absolutely. He's three times Group 1 placed, weight for age 2000 last year. Um, look, probably, the I guess with him, he's always been better with a little bit of space in between runs. So. A one week uh, backup's probably not ideal, but we won't need to do much with him. What, what about track conditions wise for, for him if it is going to be in that heavy bracket? Hope it's not heavy, but, uh, but sort of under that slow range, it should be fine. Masito, uh, your thoughts on that horse heading into the group one? He didn't mind him. It looked like he was near going to run last mile. He was always going to be short of his best. Got going good and, and took a long time to pull up, so I think the 2000 suits him, the range shouldn't worry him. And yeah, he's actually bounced out of it real good, jumping out of his skin.